Hi there. So let's start with the most obvious thing. Is this camera operating at 9 frames a second? Let's power it up. Okay. This is obviously a D850. And press the info button. And it says 9 frames a second. And as you can hear, 9 frames a second. So, what have we got? We've got the BL5 connector for the battery, which is about $12. We've got a DSTA battery, which was, I think, $40. We've got the MCO Plus grip, which was, uh, I think, I think $60 or $65. And the Bevic charger for $59.95 quite a savings over the Nikon stuff. So what are we losing uh, with this setup compared to um, the Nikon stuff? Well, if there's one thing that you might want to do is you might want to go with the real Nikon battery. Um, I've had good luck with these third party, but it's the one item where, you know, I've got a couple of these Nikon versions and I have a couple of these. Uh, this DSC battery so far has lasted actually a little longer than the uh, Nikon equivalent, the Nikon version. But if you're really paranoid, maybe this is the one item you go uh, original Nikon version on. The charger, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say quite frankly, the Nikon charger is a complete waste of money. Uh, for what they charge for a battery charger, I mean, uh, somebody somebody's taking some sort of a hallucinogenics over at Nikon. Uh, this unit works perfectly fine with all the Nikon batteries uh, and the... Uh, Third party obviously works fine. I mean, it's just it's I don't I can't tell any difference between this and the original charger, which by the way my Nikon charger, which is a two and a half years old, is dead. So this is what I've been using. So so much for Nikon reliability. This works fine and a fraction of the price. Um, gee, a BL5 connector. Well, it's an inexpensive item either from Nikon or a knockoff. So who cares? Get whichever one makes you happy. It's fine. Let's talk about the grip. All right, that's the real the real deal here. So, different from the uh, Nikon version, this is all plastic. It doesn't have the magnesium alloy. Um, there's a metal plate inside and some plastic ribbing to make it rigid. Other than that, it feels and behaves pretty much like the Nikon version. I cannot tell the difference in the hand and I did have both side by side for a while until I returned the Nikon version. Um, I would have liked to have kept the Nikon version because just because it was it had some metal in it so psychologically that sounded good to me but in in actual operation it just made no difference. This is exactly as good as the Nikon version. It's just as reliable. I've gone through thousands of shots. Um, you know, maybe there's, maybe it'll fail at some point and I'll, a switch will break, but honestly, the only grip that I ever had go bad was the one from my uh, D800. Uh, and that was a Nikon grip, whereas the, uh, the, the uh, Pixel grip that I bought, uh, I sold it with the camera and it was still working after <laughs> thousands and thousands of shots. So again, I don't get this concept that the third party is unreliable when the Nikon stuff I've had is actually the stuff that's broken more often. Um... This is a perfectly fine grip. There's no reason to spend $400, um, you know, unless you're going to write it off. <laughs> uh, the only complaint that some people might have is, oh, they're scared to use the tripod screw on this unit because it's not all metal. And my answer to that is, don't ever use uh, a grip and the tripod screw on the grip with a camera strap because what's going to happen is, is you are going to be putting a lot of pressure on this connector and it's not a healthy thing I don't care which grip you're using so if you're going to use the grip use these straps or use conventional straps don't don't use a you know black rapid grip unless it's going to go right to the camera without the grip so that's a non-issue as far as I'm concerned so my bottom line here is I know people who paid a lot of money for the original stuff are going to jump up and down but the bottom line is you wasted your money <laughs> If you bought the, uh, the OEM stuff, uh, Nikon makes a fortune off of it. They're probably making it for the same amount or even less than these knockoffs make it for because um, they have a lot more buying power. 
You're not, you know, you're getting maybe you're getting a psychologically better quality item, but in practical terms, you're not getting anything for your money. Nikon is certainly making out like a bandit every time they sell one of these grips or one of those chargers. It's, it's like uh, it's like candy uh, for them. Um, other than that, oh by the way, that was nine frames a second, and the regular battery is in the camera. So now, uh, if we flip it on, as you can hear, it's now seven frames a second. So. As soon as I put the grip on, the camera immediately recognized the third-party grip and battery and went right into 9-frame mode, no problem. And there you have it, folks. Uh, if you want those 9 frames, no need to pay through the nose.